Saturn is in Aquarius 27, an ancient pottery bowl filled with violets. This image gives you the sense of something very delicate, an ancient pottery bowl filled with violets, a sense of modesty and humility associated with violets. And we could break this bowl very easily if we didn't take care in our awareness of it and our treatment of it, therefore our treatment of ourselves, how we are around it. So whatever in your life is delicate, such as the feelings of young children or precious items or relationships that are not yet established, those delicate things in life have to be approached differently to those things which are rough and ready and everyday and ordinary and so on. And the um, development of this greater sensitivity of awareness is, is considered to be a heart-centered experience not overly favoured by the more robust masculine type of person. Aquarius 27, an ancient pottery bowl filled with violets, developing the softer feelings. Before the modern world diminished the contrast between what men do and what women do, the tendency had been to promote feminine values more clearly by having these qualities associated with women. The softer side of life was shown to us, typically by the modesty of a cultured woman who could arrange flowers in a pretty, valuable vase, positioned to be specially vulnerable to breakage, so that brash behaviour was effectively discouraged. This allowed for the fuller expression of delicate feelings in both the sexes. So the idea here is when we have around us beautiful, vulnerable things, we feel more sensitively. And so intuitive development of the hidden meaning inherent in things is afforded. Saturn is going through this degree. And so we get the sense that a result of a Saturn type will occur when we are in the presence of delicacy. So if we are indelicate, whether in our behaviours or our sensitivities, our feelings, our words, if we come across to someone else without grace and sensitivity to their heart-centred awareness of something that we may not know, then we're going to break something. We're going to destroy either a thing which is delicate or a relationship which is delicate. And Saturn is, is just saying, well, you shouldn't do that. You, you have to be more sensitive. You have to be more delicate in the way you are, more graceful, more cultured. These ancient pottery bowls come from a certain culture. I, I imagine China, for, for obvious reasons. They, and Japan actually, they, they favoured this sense of beauty in that vulnerability itself was considered beautiful and that anything which is beautiful needs to be treated with additional sensitivity. And when Saturn is going through this, the... the sense we might get is that if you don't behave with sensitivity there'll be a price to pay you'll lose something that's precious to you now when we go through life there's this need to assert to to move forward with some clarity and persistence and focus and and, and to deal with objections so that they, they, they get out of your way. And, and that could leave some broken eggs as we make our omelettes. It could leave some hurt feelings as someone's own desire or intention 
really doesn't reconcile with ours. And we, we can't give in to their push because our push is really important. If we do that without sensitivity, then we're going to break something and there will be a cost. That's what Saturn's saying now. And you might want to think about what's going on in your life that de dis dis demands a degree of additional care and attention. Feminine feelings are not by any means restricted to women. Men have the possibility of developing sensitivity and being aware of conditions that are applying in any situation in a way that women do not sometimes. And it's the reverse. It's, it's not really specifically men and women that are masculine and feminine in all ways. Of course not. And, and here we have the sort of sense that um, when we're taking action to get the job done, Saturn likes to get the job done and, and have something informed. It's not just ethereal with Saturn. It's grounded in something physical. And here we have the sense of the cultural tradition of some kind is expressed in the delicacy of the ancient pottery bowl. It's Saturn in itself because it's physical, because it has clear form. And very often tradition is laid down in a Saturn way. This is what we do. No, we don't do that. This is what we do. No, it's not like that. This is what it's like. That is tradition. That is culture. So in of itself, anything cultural and traditional has a Saturn element. So we could be looking at the way we express our sensitivity in form equally much as the price of not being sensitive uh, needs to be paid. So then the question becomes, how do we make it known to the world that we have sensitivities? We could write poetry or promote music or just speak with grace or, or hold our body posture in a graceful way to show sensitivity. And yet Saturn is, is usually much more clear than that, much more definitive than that. And so perhaps we're being asked to make it known to the world exactly how sensitive we are. And we could start by speaking of it. Very often, hurt feelings have arisen because the person who is sensitive just happens, hasn't made their requirements known. And if you are a sensitive person, and you're in the company of insensitive people, well, the first thing for you to do is to acquaint them with the difference between how they are and how you need them to be. And to do that in a gentle way, to show your sensitivity in how you require that. Because if you don't do that, and something that they do hurts your feelings or even breaks your furniture, it is... Whose fault is that? If people want to be fast and furious and get the job done and not care about the need for sensitivity, and you put yourself in harm's way by <laughs> getting in their way, you, know, you have to take some responsibility for not putting yourself in harm's way if you're a sensitive person. And I think that comes within Saturn in the Aquarius 27th degree as well. So, for a little while we have to be particularly a, a careful not to break things such as relationships because we're being insensitive. And equally, not to allow yourself to be hurt and break the relationship in a passive way because you haven't expressed your sensitivity. And what we're talking about here is the need to do that in a clear way, which has form that we can talk about and define and even measure and, and just say, when you do that, I feel this. Perhaps you'd only do that when I'm in this kind of mood or in that kind of situation. You make your needs known. If you've made your needs known and they're then ignored, OK, then we know whose problem it is. But if you have not made your needs known, for additional sensitivity to be shown to you. 
how can it be the other person's fault? 